Reggie, Elijah and Reggie. Okay, I'm gonna try to remember your name, right? So my brother's going over the curses, right? So then he showed y'all some of the curses that befell all people. So what do you guys think of that? Tell me what y'all think of that. Do y'all think God would do something like that? I'm sorry, man. So I'm gonna leave So all right, because this happened. This is verifiable, verifiable history that you can go look up, and you can also read it in the scriptures. Right. Prophecy here, but it became history throughout time. Right. You understand? And that happened to who? Who was us? Who you say? Who, who you gonna say before? Islam. 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 Israelite. That's what you're saying. Israelite. Well, yes, you're right. Israelite. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. We are the Israelites. And we go in the Bible to prove that. Right. right? So I gotta ask y'all, why did it happen? That's that's like the million dollar question. Why did that happen? If God loves us so much, why did he allow these people to come over here, go over to Africa, chain us up, put us in these ships, stuff us in like sardines? We were doing all, man, we were defecating on each other, throwing up on each other, women having menstrual strike and cycles all over the place, right. giving birth to kids on this ship. Some of us dying in the holes of these ships and they dumped us over. Why did that happen? Why, why do you think God would let that happen? We are being punished, why? That's biblical. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, if you will not listen to your God to observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these blessings, that all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So because we were disobedient, and we are disobedient to this day. Bring it out. That's why this stuff happened. Mon Arbery, why do you think that happened? Disobedience. Right. Breonna Taylor, why do you think that happened? Disobedience. We are a stiff-necked people. We don't want to hear the words of God. That's we want to right. do what we want to do. And then when all this stuff starts happening to us, oh, God, Lord, help us. Jesus, help us. Well, you... You weren't, you weren't thinking about God and Jesus before it happened. Right. You want to know why? You want to know why? Give me Hosea chapter 5 verse 16. Let me show y'all why it takes us, it takes God to jack us up before we listen. That's when we turn to him. Let me show you why. Give me that. Hosea 5. Yeah, it's, it's windy out here, y'all. Give me a second. So, we have to understand that our father will act like any other father. If you have children, your children are going off. They being bad as hell. They tearing up. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? If you have bad kids, they're running around. They're not doing nothing. You tell them to do. You gonna punish them? You gonna punish them, right? You gonna spank that butt? What do you think the father's gonna do? He's gonna do the same thing, but he's gonna do it on a magnitude that we have already seen. But he don't play. You're not gonna play with him like that. But he says to do something. He means it. Methodist, all of it. He doesn't tell you to do that. I said, be obedient to my law. 
keep my law. Right. Read. Till they acknowledge their offense uh -huh. and seek my face. Right. In their affliction. In their what? In their affliction. In their of what is that? What is affliction? In their affliction. What does that mean? Well, you just say that, or you never been in your curse, or when you're in your bad time. Uh huh. Pray to him. Ask God for right. When you going through it, he says, when you going through it, read. In their affliction, they will seek me early. That's when you seek. That's when other people seek it. When somebody gets shot down in their family members, you know, one of their family members gets shot down. Right. That's when they call on God. When the white man come and pat and slap the cuffs on you, that's when you call God. That's when you call on him. Any other time, everything's going good. God who? God who? But as soon as that tribulation comes, oh God, oh God, help me. Get me out of this, Lord, and I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this. And even after he gets you out, he shows you mercy and he gets you out. You know what you do? God who? Bring it out. God who? That's why these things happen to us. This is why we have stuff like this. Right here. Check that out. That's why we have this. Thank you all. Right here. These people did this to us. They did it to us. They didn't do it to the so-called Jewish over there. The, the, the damn uh, converts. Bring those identity thieves. They didn't go through this. They did not go through this. They want to sit up here and say, oh, the Holocaust. The, Holocaust. the hell with the Holocaust? Right. Six million versus 200 plus million? They put us on display in zoos. They hung us from trees. That's right. They made songs about us being hung from trees. You ever heard of that song by uh, oh, uh, the sister of uh, Strange Fruit? The song Strange Fruit? Y'all heard that song? That's based on true events. Two of our brothers were getting hung. They lynched them. They killed one of the brothers, but the other brother, he was strong enough that he could he could try to get the noose off of him. They saw that. They broke him down. Broke his arms and hung him back up. That happened. That's where that song comes from. That's our people. They did that to us. Right. They did that to us, but yet we always seek equality with them. Why? Right. I love my people. 
people. I'm sure they love their people. Yep. That don't mean I that don't want to mean that I'm, I'm gonna sit here and, and pray for their death or, or hope that they, they drop dead or something like that or get shot. Hey, no, that's up to the Lord. That's that, right. Vengeance is not mine. Right. It's not mine. All I can do is love my people and show my black men, hey, it's time for y'all to stand up. That's right. It's time for y'all to take your communities back. It's time for you to say, you know what, black man? I'm tired of you standing on the side of the damn corner selling drugs. You got to stop that. Sister, I'm tired of you dressing immodest. You got to stop that. It's up to us, the men, to stand up and do that. We got to take our people back. Right. Our people are lost to this, 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 this bull crap of a country. We are lost. We are destroyed. But how do we do that? Now, I need you to tell me, how do we do that? How do we take our country, our communities back? How do we make our people great again? How do we do that? There you go. There you go. Repent. There you go. Let's get it. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3, and verse 19. Repent, ye therefore. And be converted uh -huh. that your sins may be blotted out right. when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So that's exactly what you said. The first thing we have to do is we have to repent as Israelites. That's right. Not as a black man, because you can't go to a country called black. There's no land called black. Right. There is no heaven. This is what I'm saying now. There is no heaven for a black man. There is no heaven for an African American man. Right. Revelation 21, verse 12. I'm going to prove it to you. Everything I tell you, I'm going to get it from the book and I'm going to prove it to you. I'll say, I'll say it again. The kingdom of heaven is not for a black man. It's not for a Hispanic man. It's not for a Native American man or woman. It is for an Israelite. That's right. That's who it is. That's who it's for. Let me show you. Read it. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 12. Come on. And had a wall, great and high. Now, this, let me set this up. This is John, John the Revelator, right? This is John describing the kingdom of heaven. Read. And had 12 gates. How many gates? And had 12 gates. So, the kingdom of heaven has 12 gates. How many gates has the church told you that the kingdom of heaven has? One big pearly gate that everybody going to walk through. Where the hell they get that from? Bring it out. The Bible says there's 12 gates. Who are those 12 gates for? Read. And at the 12 gates, 12 angels, 12 bounces, and names written thereon. Oh, so there's names on these gates. So now we get specific. Now we get specific. Read. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So you look at that name. Look at this sign right here, my brother, and tell me where the black man is. Where's black? Where's black? Bring it out. Where do you find African American on there? Person. Person. Which is named what? Judah. 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 There's a gate for Judah. Not That's black man. Right. There's a gate for Judah. Not African American man. There's a gate for who? Benjamin. The Jamaicans. The West Indians. The West Indies. There's a gate for who? Ephraim. The Puerto Ricans. Right. Levi. The, he the Haitians. There's a gate for them, but there's not a gate for a black man. There's not a gate for Haitians. You go up to the kingdom of heaven, oh, I'm a Haitian, get your ass out of here. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.
Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom.